It all started when an app decided to work with a wonderful wallet called Sui Wallet, and that turned into Slush. Today, we are going to be going over the brand new rebrand of Sui Wallet and Stash together into one called Slush. I personally love the new UI, the new way it looks. I feel like it's a lot better for beginners and finding stuff, in my opinion, is a lot easier. Plus, sending stuff to people has never been easier. Welcome to my channel. My name is Trevin or Trevin vs NFT and I'm glad to have you here. So let's hop straight into the video and show you everything you need to know about Slush. So when you first log in, you'll see a completely new UI. And if you want to actually change what the color is, the first thing you want to do is go to the right hand corner, right where it looks like you have a little guy in the frame. And from here, you'll be able to choose obviously mainnet or testnet. We don't have to worry about that. We'll go straight to where it says theme. So we have four different themes. We have like a purple, we have a blue theme, a orange scene, and then also a yellow. So whatever you want. And the best part is you can either choose dark or light mode. And I like how they already give you that option to start off with. And we'll go down a little bit more. So from here, it'll say what version you are. Are you up to date? I highly recommend always updating the apps as it does help with security. And when you are opening up Slush for the first time, you'll be directed to either import the wallet or you're able to log in with ZK Login. What the heck is ZK Login? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's basically the best thing to onboard your friends and family. And I'll show you a little bit more about that when I'm able to send you a link and just log in. So with ZK Login, you're able to log in with your Gmail, Twitch, Facebook, and more. And they even added Apple support. So if you just want to log in with your Apple ID, create a slush wallet it's just that easy and you can make something in five to ten seconds so let's go back to the home screen or basically where it looks like there's token icons from here you'll be able to see that we have different options so we have buy and sell a wonderful really cool feature where you're actually able to buy and sell sui in the app itself so let's just click on it really quick so what do we want to do do we want to buy or sell sui let's say we want to buy so if i click on the buy an option it'll say First of all, it'll actually ask you where you're at. So let's just say we want to buy, I don't know, $5 worth of suite. What next? And from here, it'll actually give me three different options. So what is the best option? Coinbase, Transact, or quote, unavailable. Uh, okay, so <laughs> it only gave us two options, but I believe it also depends on which area of the country you're on. So it could differ in Europe, Latin America, or even Asia, but you're able to see which prices you have. So let's click on that once more and we'll actually click sell. And from here, you're basically able to say how much you want to sell. You do have to have a minimum of $5. So it would be the same process you would put in and it would give you different options of how to sell your suite inside slush so we'll just go back next one is receive this one should be very easy to understand is if someone scans this for you you're able to then import the address automatically and send the assets a lot easier instead of saying hey can you copy your address and send to me or you also have something called a scan code which will also scan what you're looking at okay so this is one of my favorite features is the send option so when you click on this it'll say do you want to directly send it to a wallet or do you want to send it as a slush link this is where i think is really cool so let's say i want to send it directly to a wallet so from here you would put in i don't know do you want sui do you want um culture coin do you want like anything else uh you obviously will just come down here so we'll just say like we'll do 50 percent of uscc and from here you can actually put in your sweet address so at Trevin's pineapple mic, I'm able to put in and then that will put it to an address or you can physically put in their sweet address. So at pineapple mic and my favorite feature also is it makes it very clear what the gas price is. So if you look, gas price for this would be 0 0.00208. So 0 0.00208 SWE is currently 0. 0071 USD. I think that's pretty darn good for fast transactions and low gas fees, which is only on Sui. Okay, so then from here, you'll just hit send. And I love this new animation they have. And boom, it shows up and it is quick. 0 0.64 seconds 
it actually loaded quicker than it was trying to show you. But from here, also say, hey, we can also show you in the Explorer to make sure it is verified and confirmed. So that's how quick it is to send. But if you want to send with a slush link or Basically, this was how I was able to send out stash linked, but they rebranded it to slush links. So you can add coins and NFTs, whatever your heart desires. So we'll add coins. So let's see here. Let's do, let's do Axel coin. So we'll just hit five. And then you can also edit the coins or the NFTs and you'll hit create link. And so from here, it gives you different options. Do you want to copy the link and send it to them? or they can also scan the QR code at that instant. And when someone clicks on that link, they're able to instantly claim it with ZK login. So Google, Twitch, Gmail, and more. And that's how you onboard your friends and family. I've done it with my whole family, my Grammy, my dad, my mom, and my brother. Everybody's on SWE. And if you want to reclaim that and you're having second guesses or the person ever claimed it, you can just hit reclaim and it'll verify with your face. And boom, it was reclaimed just like that. It's so simple on SWE. And then we also do have the swapping feature inside SWE itself, which I think is great. I personally go through different aggregators because sometimes you do get the better price, like Aftermath, for example. But if you're new to SWE, and you want a simple solution, Slush has it inside the app itself. And my next big feature we'll talk about is actually investments, or they actually have a page for that. So when you look down, there's like a little piggy bank right here. It'll say, what do you have invested? So right now I have $453 in Sweetland. They also have liquid staking and native staking. So you're able to click on these options and do it all inside the app itself. That's the whole goal, the all-in-one app on SWE. And then if you go one over, you're also able to see which NFTs you own. So NFTs and also kiosk locked. And the fourth page obviously will be the Explorer. So this is where you see Walrus, you see like finance, DeFi, play, what type of apps are there for people to play with and what type of bridges there are. So with Wormhole, or you could hit all and slowly just go down the list and see what SWE has to offer. I hope that they do add more on here because there's a lot more than what is just on Slush right now. The SWE ecosystem is booming and there's so many different D apps for you to choose. And if you go to one over transaction history, this is basically where you're able to see all your transactions all in one place. And lastly, this is where we started. We started with a little guy icon showing like color, themes, sound, uh, enhancement for security, which is amazing. And that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this full overview of the new SWE wallet or AKA Slush. I personally love this new rebrand. I think it's really cool and will actually onboard a lot more normies to make it not so stressful to find a wallet that's not too confusing and not too complex. Well, my name is Trevin or Trevender's NFT, but don't worry, cause I will see you in Web3.